Hatton car out on track. It's the Roush number 99. Dave Blaney aboard. Now, Carl Edwards has been behind the wheel of this car, but gosh, Larry, does he even know what city he's in today? He will be in it before the weekend's out, but yeah, Carl is in Fontana, California, where the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series races tomorrow night. He's there doing practicing, qualifying, and happy hour today. After happy hour, he's going to be on Matt Kenseth's jet flying back here to Talladega in the morning for those two practice sessions. Then after those morning sessions, he's going to get back on that airplane, go back to Fontana, California, which is around Los Angeles, run the race tomorrow night, then come back to Talladega to run the race on Sunday. The only downside, he will have to start at the tail end of the field because Dave Blaney's qualifying the car. And uh, I don't think uh, Matt gives out frequent flyer miles on his jet. Probably not. Uh -oh. Probably not. But it's a good smooth ride and a quick one, too. Blaney's had a pretty quick ride here, 50.724. That's just a tenth off of Jeff Green. And, and like Jeff Green, though, both these cars have picked up from what they ran in practice earlier. I want to say a quick hello to my NBC counterpart, Alan Bestwick, who will not be at Talladega this weekend. Uh, Alan took a hard check in a non-checking hockey league game, both broke both bones in his leg, and he's going to be laid up for a little while. So, Alan, uh, we know you're watching, and uh, we we'll hope you're hope you're well soon. Hope you're not using that hockey stick as a splint. Yeah, wishing you well right there, Alan. Hope you get back quick, buddy. Twenty-eighth car to qualify is Kevin LePage of Shelburne, Vermont. The Carter's Royal Disposal Dodge. The number 37 was 43rd in practice, 51.97 on the first lap. Mike, he's going to be one of those cars that can be very borderline. They have some attempts, but they're way down the provisional list. Yeah, they're go or go home, Larry. And, and I hate to say this, but watching the attitude of that race car, it looks like it was extremely slow down the back straightaway. Like it really wasn't picking up the speed like a lot of these cars have. This is a car that was bought from Ganassi Racing, and they actually have an Ernie Elliott motor in the car. Yeah, he would have to pick yeah. up a second even to move up one position, and he only picks up about six tenths to 51.34, so he'll be 28th quickest out of the 28 cars that's qualified. Welcome back to Talladega, where Joe Nemechek is quickest. NASCAR Bud Pull qualifying for Talladega Super Speedway is brought to you by Budweiser. It's time for a fresh one. Grab a Budweiser. The race is on. The race to sit on the pole for the EA Sports 500 is what's on. And on track, Carl Long is what's on in his unsponsored Ford number 80. The Actually, it'll be the commercial truck and trailer for to make the show for Sunday. And right now, he has fallen to the go-or-go-home list because three of the four cars below him in provisional points have made the show. Yeah, he was the slowest of the cars earlier in practice today. They bought this car from Roush Racing. It's an old 99 car. And got Peter Guy with Pro Motors to build the motor, but just never did get it up to speed in practice. He's the 35th driver to qualify. 53-32 is not going to do it. Uh, so Long is headed home. Carl Long, or Kevin LePage, is likely on that same list. And the final driver to miss the show is going to be between Kenny Wallace, Kirk Shelmerdine, Larry Gunselman, Mike Wallace, Jimmy Spencer. Hopefully we gain, you know, what we think we can. You know, if we could run a 60, that'd be awesome. You know, uh, obviously the 60s are pretty full right now, so if we can get a low 60s, is what we'd like to do. And uh, we got the uh, breast cancer awareness car this weekend, and I uh, just want to say hi to everybody out there that, that uh, we're helping out with that, and um, just really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. Terrific effort by Target to do that. I'm sure guys have not been giving you grief, though, about the pink race car, have they? Oh, no, and all these guys are great, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten a ton of grief over it, but it's for a great cause. I'm real proud to do that, and, uh, you know, for the race. It is for a good, car, a good cause, and it is a car they finished eighth with here in April. Casey said, I know it will, wait, will, wait, will race well. I can say that easy, Larry Mack. Just what all you crew chiefs say. It will race well. Okay, I'd be confused, too. That thing is pink. <laughs> yes, wow. it is. Kirk Shelmerdine on track without a sponsor for his number 72 uh, Ford this week, but he does uh, exhibit his political preference on the quarter panel. Kirk was 40 third quickest in practice, 45th quickest in practice, and I talked to Kurt, and he has a Yates motor in there now. It's the old-style Yates motor, and he was even excited because for the very first time this year, he got to come down here and test for about a day prior to the race. 52-27.
on his first lap. He does have a pole here in ARCA. Came in 2000 for the ARCA race. He does not have a provisional available. He is go or go home. And that go home list right now looks like Carl Long, Kevin LePage. And we'll see who the third one ends up being. Uh, and that, of course, is unofficial until we're done. Eight cars to go. That first lap puts Kurt on the bubble, 38th quickest at that 52-27. That has bumped Larry Gunzelman and Carl Long out of the top 38. Dale Earnhardt. Ooh, there's smoke, a lot of smoke down there. Yes, there is. And 51-57 uh, will not hold up, and Kirk will be headed for the house.